Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Kelvin, and how are you doing? We are back in another episode of Midnight Masquerade in the Sims Pet Stories with Steven and the Cat Diva. So, the previous episode was kind of okay. We spent a little more time of Erin. So, if you want to know what happened before that, the link of the previous episode and the playlist is in the description. Let's see what happens next. Few moments later. Chapter 7. Deal me in. You need to increase Stefan's cooking skill in order to create the next dish for the Midnight Masquerade. You are so right, let's hit the book Stefan and so that we can have enough skills to cook that lobster. I can't believe that Swindler Gordon is trying to work his magic on both Erin and Rachel. I'd give him a piece of my mind right now if I didn't have to get working on the lobster terminal for Julianne. Yes, you have actual work to be done. Let's get cooking. Without worrying about who should be the aid for you. It's like that's great. By the way, I do like the animation in, of cooking in the Sims 2. Every dish is detailed. Every dish has big animation. Ah, ah, Sipuma. Uh, you might need to book the oven. Oh my gosh! You burned the lobster! Mama! Stay away, Diva. Go play with your scratching hook. Yeah, I don't think Diva would be interested in that with the lobster. Oh, Julian's here. Hello, Stefan. Do you have the lobster terminal ready? Oh, hello, Julian. Here you go. Thank you, Stefan. This looks great. I don't see why it's so great because that lobster has been burned to crisp. Alright, alright. I guess you've been good. Here. Nice of you, Stefan, to remember you actually had a cat to take care of. I should invite James over. It's been a while since we hang out. Okay, we call James to see whether he's free. He's going to come over after gassing up. That's good. Here I am thinking Erin is perfect. Then in walks it, this Rachel. What do you think, Diva? I don't think she's interested in the love triangle. This place looks like a pet zoo. I'm taking care of Celeste's cat, remember? So. Is there any news on Gordon? Man, I can't deal with the animal sanctuary this place has become. Meet me at the Fat Hat Bar and I'll fill you on the details. I could use a few rounds of cards. The Fat Hat Bar it is. Okay, let's go to the bar. Alright, let's have a seat upstairs and get playing. By the way, this place is really nice. I really like Sims 2. That story's good so far. Good job. So the news is that the police in Arbor Falls have determined the con man's last name starts with an S. That means Gordon Fletching can't be our guy. You know, he's going to the masquerade with Erin, and I admit I am pretty jealous. Then again, I can't believe how much fun I had with Rachel the other night. Help me out, James. What should I do? You should start by taking a look at who just walked in. I wonder if she'd like to join us. Well, the more the merrier, I guess. Let's invite Rachel to join in the poker table. What are we playing? Sim Rummy, the rules are... I win! What were you saying, James? This girl never fails to surprise me. <laughs> she just sat down and she just win in one hand and she's just amazing. <laughs> wow. 
Dance with me, Stefan. I want to talk to you. Absolutely. So we turn on the jukebox and dance with Rachel. Rachel, you are some dancer. I need a minute in the ladies' room. I'll be right back. And in comes Gordon for ruining the fun. What is he doing here? And who is this guy? I want you about Rachel, Stefan. Gordon trying to pick a fight. I had enough of this guy. The fight is what he wants. That's what you get. Ooh. And in 5 seconds, Stefan has been defeated by Gordon. That's embarrassing. Hey, aren't you a friend of Stefan's? How about the Nicole sandwich? Oh no. Nuh uh. Who is this fella trying to pick a fight? Okay. Oh yes, I'm glad James taught him a lesson. Uh, guys, what's going on here? We were just discussing some costume ideas for the masquerade. Speaking of, would you like to attend with me, Rachel? I'm sorry, Gordon, but I've already agreed to be Stefan's date for the masquerade. Sorry to hear that, Rachel, but we've always got our side project. Come on, Anthony, let's get out of here. Gordon makes a good business partner, but I find you more interesting. I hope you don't mind that little stunt. I was planning to ask you to ask me to be your date. Mine? Not at all. Good. See you around, Stefan. Rachel is really something. I have knuckles to ice and a cat to see back home, so I should get to them both. Okay, once we reach home, we receive a package. Video controlled mouse? Celeste must have ordered this for Diva. All of a sudden, things got weirder. I ran to Ra All of a sudden, things got weirder. I ran into Rachel at the flat hat bar, and then Gordon ran into us. The snake asked Rachel to be his date for the masquerade, even though Erin is already going with him. Rachel really showed him up by telling him she was my date. I did pretty well for myself, I think. No, you did not. You got your but whoops, my Gordon. The next day. Chapter 8. Fetching 1, Loyal 0. Okay, Rachel just walked into my house. Stefan, you're coming to Club Z with me for some fun. This isn't optional. You've been working non-stop and you need to relax. I really shouldn't, Rachel. I haven't even started working on the ice sculpture for the masquerade. Remember how much fun we had the first time we were there? Come on! Uh, Rachel, you're wrong. She, he didn't really work as much as you think he is. He's right. I still have more to do for the masquerade, but I may as well go have some fun at Club Z. Okay, meet me there. Five minutes later. This is some terrible life decisions, man. Stefan, priorities. You still have work to do? Erin is here with Gordon? I wonder what problems he'll try to cause tonight. Yeah, you worry about yourself first. Hey Stefan, can you sing? The karaoke machine is out back. Let's do a duet. Time to strain my vocal cords on the karaoke machine.
Uh, uh, Gordon uh, just uh, can't take a hint. What a jerk! Can't he see Rachel doesn't want anything to do with him? If I kiss Rachel, maybe that creep Gordon will leave her alone. I think it's a really bad idea. What if Erin sees them kissing? Oh, oh, Stefan, are you and Rachel dating now? Well, we've uh, gotten just sort of? Sort of? Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. You've got some serious soul searching to do. I'll call you tomorrow. Good night. Uh, uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, Erin. Come. We'll be late for the symphony at Amber Hall. Oh, by the way, Chief, Erin couldn't help but making a painting to capture my superior essence. You can have it. Maybe now you realize what a real success looks like. Oh my gosh. He even needs to gloat in front of us. No, you don't cheer for receiving that kind of gift. What have I done? I'd be surprised if Erin or Rachel talked to me after tonight. Rachel is right. I've got some things to figure out. I should go home and see Diva. She'll cheer me up. Things are getting worse. Gordon is getting the better of me, and I suspect he isn't really trying either. I had a great time with Rachel today, but I'm really worried about Erin and how close she's getting to Gordon. He isn't what he seems, and I don't want to to get hurt. Okay, that's another two more chapters done for Midnight Masquerade. Basically, Steven messed up big time. Not only that he served a burnt lobster to Julianne and she still accepted for, for some odd reason. <laughs> and both Rachel and Erin are going to mad at him for some time. So what do you think about this episode? Leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe to West Enemy Sims for more updates on retro Sims content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye!